Hi, this is the Frugal Chef. I'm going to be making some uh, chicken with barbecue sauce in the oven today. And this is how we're going to uh, do this. This is really easy, super cheap, okay? We're going to use chicken thighs and chicken uh, legs. I bought a packet of 12. I paid, I paid $5.14 for this. So what I'm going to do, I just rinsed all this chicken and I pat dried it with paper towels. And now I'm going to rub it with, I have two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, uh, one teaspoon paprika, and one teaspoon garlic powder, okay? So I'm going to rub this with that, and then I'm going to put it in the oven for th at 375, and then I'm going to go ahead and make my own barbecue sauce with ketchup, mustard, uh, Worcestershire sauce, a little soy sauce, and brown sugar. We'll come back and do that. So the first thing I need to do for this is I need to rub all my chicken with the paprika and the garlic, the salt, and the pepper, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I have an oven that's been preheating at 375. So I am going to uh, uh, put it in the oven and let it cook for a while before we start putting the barbecue sauce. Now, I'm not, I'm gonna turn these around so I can rub the skin of the legs. Now notice that the thighs are looped down I put the skin, uh, they're, they're, the skin, their skin side up so that the skin doesn't uh, stick to the pan. Okay, so there you go. Not that easy. I'm gonna put this in the oven, and then uh, while that's cooking, we'll come back and make the barbecue sauce. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, the chicken's in the oven at 375, so now I'm gonna make my barbecue sauce. Um, what I have here is half a cup of ketchup. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all these ingredients. So I'll put my half a cup of ketchup in my bowl, okay? I am going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of mustard. Oh, of course it's not gonna cooperate. There we go. One and two. And I want to put one tablespoon soy sauce in here. And I'm going to put, oh, I don't know, half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, now what I'm going to do is mix this well. And I'm going to let my chicken cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm going to start brushing it with this so it finishes cooking with this sauce, okay? All right, our chicken's been in the oven for about 20 minutes. And so now I pulled it out and what I'm going to do is just brush each piece with my, uh, you know, ketchup and mustard sauce. So I'm going to brush it and then I'm going to put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes, bring it out, brush it again, and I'm going to do this three times. Okay, and, and then I'm just going to broil them so that it gets nice. And we're ready. You know, feel free to use uh, store-bought barbecue sauce for this. Uh, it, it, it's delicious with store-bought barbecue sauce and it's so easy too. So if that's what you want to do, knock yourself out. Okay, I'm going to let the drumsticks cook on this side this time and then when I bring them out I'm going to flip them over and cook the other side. I'm not touching the thighs. This is going to go back in the oven for another 20 minutes, 15 minutes. And then we'll bring it out, we'll brush it again, we'll put it back in and so on. Okay? I, I just took the chicken out. It's been in there an extra 15 minutes. Look, what I'm going to do is get rid of this extra fluid, you know, that the chicken has rendered while cooking. I, I don't need that in there. The liquid so I'm just gonna take it out with a spoon but this chicken is looking good and it smells fantastic so there we go one more and we're good to go all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and flip over my drumsticks okay so that we get a little sauce on both sides And I'm going to go ahead and brush some more sauce on this. 
put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna bring them back out, do it one more time, flip those drumsticks around one more time, and this time though, we'll put them in the oven for about 10 minutes and we'll broil them for about five, okay? So our chicken is cooked, and it is delicious. Okay, my chicken is, is out again. So for the last time, I'm going to brush it. Okay, I'm gonna leave these drumsticks on this side because they didn't really get to absorb much of this sauce. This chicken is delicious. You know, and I, I told you I was gonna put it in there for 10 minutes and then broil it. I'm not going to broil it anymore. I don't have to. It's nice and, and uh, you know, it, it got really caramelized on the, on the skin here and it's, it's wonderful. I, I don't need to, I don't need to broil this. So what I'm gonna do is just put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Okay, look at this, 10 more minutes. These are fabulous. Uh, I didn't have to broil them. Go to the frugalchef.com for recipes like this. We have beef recipes, pork recipes, vegetarian recipes, of course, chicken, soups, all kinds of stuff. And you know, they're all frugal, they're healthy, they're nutritious, and they're really easy to make. Bon appetit from the frugalchef.com. I'm gonna serve these with some french fries, and the kids are gonna love them.